school resource officer as well uh, to try to make sure we we get the mix that he needs to be able to do the job that, that he needs to do in your school so we're working with him on that as well all right and uh, with that being said we'll move into our next agenda items and it's unfinished business uh, continued discussion with uh, budget related issues and uh, Fran Hatcher will review those with us she is our director of finance Fran good evening Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Um, in your package, you have your third quarter report. Um, just a few highlights I wanted to bring up. The overall third quarter revenues are down compared to last year by about 14%. And the overall third quarter expenditures are also down from last year by about 12%. Of note is if you back out your CIP funds, our overall revenues are actually 1% a little more than 1% higher than they were this time last year. So the, the CIP is kind of skewing it out a little bit. Um, your general fund revenues are 7.2% higher than last year. The bulk of this has to do with the your local revenue, your property taxes, especially the public service taxes, which we got a windfall one time. It's not going to be every year of a back amount that we collected this year on the new power plant. Um, state revenues so far are about $171,000 less. The estimate for the year will be about $245,000 less, most of which is in the comp board. You do have an increase in federal revenues, but by the end of the year, that won't be an increase because I'll be coming back in June to amend the budget because of grants and the ARRA -R -R -A stimulus money that we received that was not budgeted. I'll have to amend the budget to put it in there. Um, some of your revenues are still showing decline due to the economy, such as the recordation taxes, permits, BPOL, Although the BPAW, I believe, will come out the way it's supposed to be. It's just right at the third quarter. It's now getting into Ms. Carter having to go after them and say, okay, pay your BPAW. Um, recordation taxes are down, as I said, and this is something that was also hit by the General Assembly for next year, so they'll be even farther down than what they are currently are. With what we've been doing with trying to curb expenses and things of that nature right now, general fund expenses are running lower than they were last year at this time by about $619,000. Most of the departments are meeting the 75% mark, which is where they should be, if not below. We do have a few that are over, but most are either at 75% or below 75%. Um, the way things are looking right now I don't believe that any other further action is going to have to be taken for this year other than what's being proposed later this evening school the rest of the budget school social services are about on track CSA I know we're we'll probably coming back to ask the board to appropriate additional funding because that will be over and that has to do with the economy and caseloads. Um, right now, your utility fund, the revenues are running about 50% higher than where they were this time last year. So you've gotten about 12 months now of the new utility rates that went into effect last year in May. So that's helped tremendously. And the availability fees look like we're going to meet the projections that we had in the budget if we get them all collected. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to give me the answers you need. Okay, uh, questions of Brian? You mentioned, you mentioned CSA. Uh, do you have any idea as to what type of money is we going to be looking at for the CSA? Uh, a provision. The last I heard was about it, it could be as high as about one hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. One hundred what? One hundred thirty-three. Additional. Yes, sir. Uh, did anybody ever find out what happens if we don't do that? 
<laughs> I'm not answering that one. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a state mandate. So if the state says you have to do this, but we all of a sudden can't do it, does the state pick it up? I, I have not researched the, the matter formally, so I'm kind of answering off the top of my head here, but I, I think there would be some danger that we would not see the state match. They may withdraw their money. Um, it is a law that we provide the funding, so anytime you don't do it, certainly there are going to be some repercussions there. The 133, that, that number changes on a daily basis as cases come in and come out, so that is very much an estimate. Uh, expect to be back in June with a, uh, a more definitive number there as to what that's going to be. That's over and above what we've budgeted. I mean, that's that's. We're already over. Yeah, we've been over. We're at about 2,700 above what we uh, originally budgeted with the first supplemental appropriation that the board approved and. Uh, as you know, our county budget is much more realistic than what the original state budget was. We try to build in a cushion, but unfortunately, we've already blown through that with more to come, it appears. Mr. Parton, can, can you please work with Mr. Emerson and find out what happens if we don't do that? Because it is a state mandate, and the state has said you have to do this with no funds that go with it. And we got all these people here that would be happy if we gave that $133,000 to the school system, but because the state says we have to do this with no funding, our hands are tied. So I just want to know what the penalty is if we don't do it. If, if you can find out, I sure would appreciate it. Yes, sir, we'll do that. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions, Mr. Akers? Mr. Seeley? I just have one question, and it's on the utility fund. You're showing that we're going to be short $679,000 or we're negative $679,000 currently. We're it's in a summary fund sheet. It's in the summary fund sheet that you gave us. Quick facts. That's your fund balance that's short. Okay. That's our normal fund balance, unencumbered balance. Explain that, because I'm now confused. Parentheses around something is always a negative number. That's correct. This doesn't have to do with, this is your general fund fund balance, not the utility fund fund balance. OK. And basically, um, you show a fund balance in your audit report, but if you back out the loan between the two funds, you have a negative fund balance in the general fund. Go ahead. ahead. Ms. Hatcher, while, while Mr. Seeley gets ready, the, the, the fund balance was almost $4 million. We loaned, theoretically, almost $4, $4 million to the utility fund. In our many utility projects, is it possible to, f to finance that $4 million loan, which is really what it is, a utility loan, or is that something we have to ask Mr. Rogers about? Being how that is a loan between the two funds of Caroline County, that is typically not something that is done. Um, I'll be glad to talk to Mr. Rogers and find out, but typically loans between funds don't get into actual financing or borrowed money to pay one back from the other because somebody still has to pay the the borrowed money back right I mean we're we're essentially as as the the buck stops here group we're responsible either way That's but right. what I'm what I'm thinking is that that by financing that transfer to the utility fund we would get a more realistic picture of what the utility fund brings in and costs and the general fund revenues would would look more whole. It's it's really just kind of an accounting. I mean, it's all it's all still a bill we got to pay, but it really is accounting. So I was just wondering if that was a possibility. Except you'd be increasing your costs because of doing outside borrowing to pay one from one fund to the other fund. You're increasing cost at least one fund. 
Yeah, and I, I mean, yeah, there's there's a cost to borrowing money whenever you borrow money. That's correct. Even if you borrow from your friends. So I'm just curious as to if that's a possibility just for our accounting perspective. And since there's so many utility projects we're involved in, that maybe we could work it in one of those. But I'll talk to Mr. Rogers and ask him. I sure would appreciate that. No problem. All right. On the, on the revenue side for Caroline Utility Fund, we're at 64%. That's correct. Which means it, it, currently we're about a million short for the rest of the for the fourth quarter. If you subtract the number that you say we've collected year to date from what we actually budgeted. That's correct. True. True. So we have to collect a million dollars, a little over a little over a million dollars in the next quarter to be even in the utility fund, correct? That's correct. Okay. Those are all my questions, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Vice Chairman? No, sir, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate Mr. Seeley letting me uh, ask questions while he looked his things up. Okay. All right, and uh, I have no questions for you, Fran. Thank you very much for your report. All right, next we have the, uh, the fiscal year 2011 uh, County appropriations to the schools, and uh, Mr. Ashcraft, you want to, Mr. Chairman? As you remember in the discussions that you had with the uh, chairman and the uh, school superintendent of our public school division, the um, request was made to you this evening to try to reach a decision as to what the local appropriation would be to the public school division, so that the system could begin to do their work for the end of their year. Uh, contracts and, uh, and end-of-the-year uh, activity. So before you this evening is the proposed school budget, which at this time is $10,900,000 uh, uh, of local appropriation. That is the county administrator's request, and I know there's been some other discussion uh, regarding that, but that is where you are right now. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ashcraft. And... Uh and as I said uh, several times before, we did sit down. I even sat down with the school board chairman and let him go through our budget. And I said, you know, show me what you can, what you see. And, you know, we, we found some things and went back to the county administrator and looked at some, some items. And, uh, you know, we, we were able to uh, find some, some wiggle room. But, you know, at, at most, you know, we, we found which we felt like we could live with about 100 hundred thousand uh, dollars of cuts from the county budget to go back over into the school budget and uh, it's it's bare bones so uh, I think that's as far as we got if there needs to be more uh, uh, collaboration with the board members uh, certainly is this is the time to do that but in general uh, that's what we did in talking with uh, Again, the uh, school board chairman and superintendent, that is uh, what I told him that I believed we could do. And that would make it right at $11 million. For, and we need to uh, proceed and approve a budget for the school system. So unless there's more collaboration needs to be done on that, uh, we do need to uh, decide tonight what our school budget is going to be. Mistakers. Mr. Chairman, I have a question, and I, it has to do with the, the school budget. You know, as you indicated a few minutes ago, the county, uh, the budgets that I've always seen in the county has been uh, an outline that shows what was budgeted and what was spent per line item for the previous three years, plus what was budgeted and what was spent for the current year, and then what uh, is proposed for the next year. Is that available through uh, from the school system? I've never seen that. It's always been come and give us this amount of money. This is what we need to operate schools. And my question is, uh, I would like to see a breakdown per line item. I know I cannot. I know I cannot appropriate. I understand that we can only appropriate by the seven categories uh, that's provided through the Department of uh, Education. But is there anything that prohibits the school uh, system and the school board from breaking out and showing even the school board I, I don't know maybe the school board sees that uh, I know the Board of Supervisors does not 
as to what was budget and what was spent in the previous years, previous three years, and what was spent this past year. I'd very much like to see that uh, to determine as to, you know, you're right, the school board chairman went through our budget, and, and anybody can go through our budget, not only the school board chairman, but anybody else in this county can go through the county government and look at per line item and see what has been spent and what was budgeted uh, and where any savings can be made. Is it possible to look at the school budget for the same thing? Okay, and uh, certainly we can ask, make a request of the uh, school board to uh, give us those line items. I think we could probably accommodate that, don't you think, uh, Dr. Kello? All right. All right, I got a good nod from him, so I think we can get those numbers. I, you know, in discussion with you, Mr. Chairman, right. I've committed to the $100,000, and I support the $100,000 uh, uh, to make the, to round it at $11 million. But we have, we've had to do that on the backs of county employees to a great deal. I mean, we have, have required county employees, uh, based on this budget, if you're making under $40,000, you've got to take a 1% salary reduction. If you're making 40 and above, you've got to take a 2% salary reduction. Uh, we're now looking at uh, possible furlough day for the 28th of, uh, of May for county employees. So we have, we have been able to provide this additional $100,000 uh, in, in part on the backs of county employees. And I think that I, I don't see how we're, we can go any further with that, and I would not support anything beyond $100,000. I will keep my commitment and, and support the $100,000 additional uh, funding for school system. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um I was just wondering if we have made any headway as far as joint purchasing efforts, contracts, uh, uh, joint uh, employee efforts, that kind of thing with the school system and ourselves. Uh, I guess that'd be more of a question for Ms. Popowitz. The uh, the proposal that has been reached between the the county and the public school division is under the county administrator's report okay. this evening. Okay. Uh, you'll see uh, soon some joint uh, bidding, some joint uh, contracting. Uh, we haven't moved quite forward yet until you've had uh, the opportunity as a board to bless this proposal. And I believe the public school division will probably need to do the same thing. Okay. But once that is in place, then I think you will see uh, some items that we have agreed to as, as our mutual expenses to be able to share in, uh, in joint contracts and joint uh, bidding opportunities that that should derive some savings next year. Okay. Gasoline is one area that we are uh, targeting immediately as of July 1st. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Seeley? Mr. Chairman, also, I have, I have discussed my concerns with you and agree, have also agreed to, to the $100,000 additional to the school system, but I don't know that everybody realized that the county employees took pay cuts. I think that may be news to some folks, and in discussions with the superintendent, it doesn't affect the school teachers at this point in time. It's just county employees, and I just want everybody to be aware that I do echo Mr. Waker's, Mr. Aker's sentiments is that the county employees have taken a good deal of the of the brunt in this search for money for for all the different services in the county that's it okay so we do need to set the school uh, budget or appropriation for school budget um, we're at the 11 million dollar figure Do we have a timeline to work on, Mr. Ashcraft? Well, again, Mr. Chairman, it was it was asked of us to consider this this evening because they have uh, their due diligence to do in terms of contracts and other things uh, happening. I, I would have to seek the superintendent's counsel on whether this could wait two weeks. I don't know. Mr. Chairman, is, is it possible for us to commit to the $11 million? Now, from, it's my understanding from what has come from the school uh, board is the fact that we're still $342,000 short of what they had, had wanted us to give uh, as far as the level of funding is concerned. Uh, if there's any uh, 
additional things that we can find in, in the budget. And I would very much like to see the line item budget before we approve the school board budget. But I think we can commit to the $11 million and they can move forward with the $11 million uh, in hand, knowing that they can uh, do their due diligence. Dr. Killer, uh, is that something you can do? You understand what the uh, question was, or with Mr. Akers? If you can get the uh, the line item appropriations to us, for the, not only can I not I, see you, but I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I I couldn't hear you. I, Okay. We still, we still. I'm sorry. We still couldn't hear you, Dr. Kilo. I, I, I apologize. I know you probably didn't prepare to speak tonight, but uh. All right, and it would, the May 25th, will it be okay for you? Was that enough time for you? I think you got the commitment. We're committed to the 11th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. You have an idea, Mr. Akers? You have a suggestion? Yeah. We, we're committing to the 11 million. So if we commit to the 11 million, the school board and superintendent can go ahead and send out contracts based on that number. And not speaking for Mr. Akers, but I think he just wants to see the budget before we make that final approval. The final approval is not going to be 11 million. Well, probably going to be 11 million, not less. So, right. if you go on the premise, you're going to get 11 million. You can keep going. We said the line items for the last three years. So what you like? Line items for the last three years, plus the line items as to what is being asked for right. in this, this year. year's budget. Okay. And, and I would trust this entire board would want to see this information, not just me. I would hope we'd all want to to look at that and to, and to see that. And I think we do. In in individual discussions, I think that has been a contention. Uh, for, for, for many of us that, uh, on this board. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm committing to the $11 million as a one board member. Right. Uh, but I do want to see the breakdown before. Uh, He's got three. I'll commit to $11 million also. You commit to $11 million. You commit to $11 million. Okay. We got three. Yeah, we got. The votes are there for $11 million. But I think we need to see that. All right, so y'all want to, what do you want to, you want to make a motion to do this, or you just want to wait until you get this and, and do it on 25th? We can do it on 25th. We can, 25th? We can wait right. until we get this information from the schools, uh, right. school board, and then we can move forward. Okay. Dr. Kilo, I think you see you have the uh, support of the board for the uh, 11 million. We just need to see the uh, last three years for each one of the operation line items. And uh, also for this uh, year we're going into. Don't you have that person? You have it from last year, from last year's budget presentation. They don't give it to us. All right, line had, item by category. It, we had it last year. Mm -hmm. Not line item. Category. We had categories last I'm year. Right. Okay. I can give you categories. You got. You have categories. All right. Last year. Okay. You got it. Then I don't need to look for it. I, I was looking for it. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Yeah, we need it. Uh, now, are we the all meeting the 25th. Yeah, so we needed this, what, Wednesday before that? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I just want to make sure yes, we're sir. all talking about the same thing. Okay. There seem to be two different 
words being used for what we're, what we're asking for. All right. We're asking for percentage by line item, not percentage by category, just so we're clear. Right, but what Mr. Akers is... Can you come up... What's the difference? The difference. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Kilo. Hey. All right. I wasn't planning on speaking, so. I know, but this should be pretty simple. We'll get over it. All right. All right. But, Mr. Akers, just want to clarify. I mean, the there's specific categories that we fund you in each category. Correct. And for the last three years, you'll provide us with each category of what we submitted in each category for the last three years, plus the year we're going into. Basically, our three years of past budget by the categories, and then what are you asking, too, for what we're proposing for next year, too? I'm not speaking about the category, but the line item uh, in each uh, category, if you would. Same thing that we usually give every year, though. Right. No, I've, I've never seen line item breakdowns. I've never seen that. I've, I've never You're, seen... It's the a category in the line items. Well, it's the same thing that you get every year that we've done. This year we had it, but then it changed because we had it built off of um, a $500,000 additional request. But we've been waiting since then to find out where our final funding was going to be before we redrafted everything and redrew that because that's a lot of work and that's what we've been doing but it's the same thing that we we can bring that yeah okay yeah. all right well we appreciate that Thank you. I, I think there's so, mr. Park uh, dr. Killo That's what we get from the county uh, on the county budget. Well, I can look at the same thing and see if we, uh, we don't have anything that's like this, but we have our budgets that we've provided each year, and I'll see what we can do and compile. You know, I don't know how, you know, it'll be as something different for us to do, but I can look into it. All right? Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, we're going to move off this one. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Gillo. Also, uh, for this next fiscal year, too, we also have a uh, $3.3 million debt service that we, this part of the school budget, that will also uh, be in our uh, budget portfolio. Okay. Moving into the next item, the proposed furlough days for full-time and part-time county employees on May 28, 2010. Mr. Parton, is this yours or no, Mr. Mr. Ashcraft? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman uh, very simply put, uh, the Compensation Board has reduced its funding for the constitutional offices, and accordingly in, uh, a furlough day was... Uh, was ordered in order to make up that difference. What, pr what is proposed for you this evening in order to be consistent among all employees who work for Carolina County government, we're asking that uh, the board approve a furlough day for all non-essential uh, offices uh, on May the 28th, which would leave county government closed for that day except for the public safety and the solid waste convenience sites that would remain uh, open. Uh, this would generate approximately $26,000 uh, uh, in savings, and that would be uh, put back into to balance this year's budget, FY10. Uh, 
Okay, uh, questions of Mr. Ash Ashcraft on the uh, proposed furlough days? 